This is the 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 Denali Ultimate. It has a sticker price of $87,879.59. You know what? You could probably negotiate down the 59 cents if you're a shrewd negotiator and you watch VinWiki, right, Ed? So we're going to take a quick look at this truck today. It has an exterior color of sterling metallic and the interior is alpine umber. A very nice looking interior. Going to have some of those features that I really like here, such as the in-seat storage back here in the seat backs, among many other features. And then something else that we have here, we're going to talk a little bit more about this later in the video and what's changed for 2023 as far as Super Cruise goes. Hard to believe that I've been reviewing these vehicles since 2019. And this is the second one I've ever done with Super Cruise as a feature. And that's in the last month. Go all those years and then in the last month we do a lot more than that. So let's take a quick look at what we have with this truck and what you are actually paying for. By the way, if you want to buy this truck, I am borrowing it from my friends at Morgan Buick GMC here in Shreveport, Louisiana. There is a link down in the description of this video. If it's in inventory and you click on the link, it'll take you to it. And then you can find out more about the vehicle and come in and possibly buy it. This truck is obviously very capable off-road. Being that it is four-wheel drive, that's going to help. You also have the 275 on the width tires. It's going to have the 50 series sidewall and going to be wrapped around those 22-inch wheels. And all over the truck, every light is LED. Headlights, daytime running lights, even the fog lights down there. And you do have the IntelliBeam headlights. And what that is, is it's going to detect road conditions and know when to turn the auto high beams on and off. And one thing to note, just in case you're driving around your neighborhood and the speed limit is under 25, or maybe you're doing under 25, and you notice that that feature doesn't work, that's because it only works at 25 miles per hour or above. And you do have the Denali Ultimate specific grill right here. It's going to have, obviously, a nice aggressive look to it, but still has a little bit of that luxurious look to it as well. The nice large GMC logo. And right here is the front view camera. And you might wonder, what is this? If you've never known, let me show you exactly what that is on the interior of the truck. And I apologize if that little noise that just came over is bothering anybody, but hopefully you just didn't hear that. So let me turn the hazard lights off. Let's bring up the front camera. I'm going to show you what that is. It's actually a front camera washer, if it will come up. Maybe we need to start the truck to do this. So we're going to do that. And now maybe we can get the front camera to come up. There we go. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. You bring up your front camera, and it's dirty. Don't get out and wash it off by hand or clean it off by hand. This is the button you would use to run the windshield washer fluid on the front windshield, right? When you do that, well, here's what also happens when you do that. It sprays windshield washer fluid across that front camera. So a very nice feature in that respect. And hopefully, I don't know if you can see it or not. You know the head up display right there? You can lighten that up. You can darken it. You can make a lot of changes via these three controls right here. And obviously, you can go through and make changes as far as what you're actually looking at. I just hope you can see that. It's kind of hard to see sometimes, unfortunately, on these GoPros. But just in case you were wondering, well, that's what you have. And while we're here, let me show you one more thing. Let's get that chime done away with. Right here, we're going to push this button, and you can see what happens. So let you see that. Push the button there on the bottom right-hand side of this area to use those power folding side view mirrors that are also power adjustable. Turn those lights off. But I do want to show you one more thing. Let's push right here. We'll see some of the exterior lighting that is meant to help around the truck. This turns on your in-bed lighting. And check that out. A little bit of a different design here. Normally, the in-bed LED lighting is right back here in this area. It is angled forward, but it's in the center right there. I think that's better. It's actually going to shine more light, I believe, throughout the interior of the bed. You also have the cab light right there to help as well. And then you also have the benefits of the light right here on the tailgate. Depending on your situation, that can be very useful when it's dark. 
And if you like chrome, you've got quite a bit of that here with the chrome mirror caps and more lighting to help out in a multitude of situations right here with the LED lighting on the side view mirrors. And let me show you how I turned that on. You saw how I turned, I think you did, I think I showed it. This is the button for turning on the lights I showed you at first. So this is the lighting for the side view mirrors that I just showed you. And obviously when you're out off road, if you're going to pull anybody out of the mud or the sand or whatever the case may be, let's see if we can get some of this off of here. I did not pull this off or this truck just came in. You've got your tow hooks right here. One on each side for the F-150s, the Ram 1500s, the Toyota Tundras, all that stuff. It's gonna be very easy to pull them out, not only because you have the tow hooks there, but because you have the plentiful horsepower under the hood, what a great segue to talking about exactly what you're going to find there. All right, here under the hood, the largest and most powerful V8 available for the GMC 1500, the 6.2 liter V8, 420 horsepower and 460 pounds-feet of torque. It's mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission and something that I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to know about, but you know, it may not be the best around, but here are your MPGs. 15 city, 19 highway, 17 combined, and 5.9 gallons of gas is what GMC says you should use for every 100 miles you drive this truck. And a quick look at the remote. I know a lot of people like to see what that looks like, so there you go, let's turn that the right way. And if you're wondering about remote start, here's how easy it is to use. You just have to make sure the truck is locked. You just press it twice, and it's really that simple. The truck starts right up. And speaking of that, what does the exhaust sound like on this truck? Let's reposition the camera and let you find out. couple of noteworthy points here. Obviously, you're going to have the power side steps. We'll show you how those work. And the thing I like here is that with these power steps, when you close the door, they don't immediately go back under the truck. You'll notice there's a little bit of a delay. That way, if somebody else is running to get in the truck because they're late or maybe getting back out, it's not going to be an issue. And we also have passive entry. If you have the remote on your person, you push this button, you can lock and or unlock all four doors. It's only on the front doors, but that's okay. No big deal there at all. And again, if you like Chrome, there's plenty of it here. You've got it here. You've got it on the surround for the windows here as well. And one more thing about these power side steps that I really like is what you have right here. You touch that button with your foot, and I'm just gonna do it with my hand since it's nice and convenient right here, and the step comes back to the rear of the truck, basically. That way, if you need to gain access to the bed, well, guess what? If you have something in the front that you need to reach in and get, and you don't want to get in through the tailgate and lower all that and deal with all that, well, there's big benefits to that. And keep in mind, it is a button. It's not a sensor. So some people might not know that, but it is what it is. And then we're going to have, and you might notice that these are a little bit more shallow than what you have on a lot of trucks, a lot of the GMC Sierras out there. Because of all of the technology here and the sensors and all that kind of stuff, that's why these are a little more shallow as far as the bumper steps go than what you would have on other models. So let's take a look here at one of the best features on these trucks, the Multi-Pro tailgate. We'll let that come on down here. It has a lot of functionality. It's a great multitasker in that it can be used as a table, for example. It can also be used as a bed extender and a bed extender in more than one way. So let me show you what I mean by that. We're going to push that back up. Obviously, you can use the tailgate in the conventional manner, and then you can come right here and boom, you've got your second version of the bed extender if you need to use that. If you just have something that you don't need sitting up on top of the tailgate, which obviously you can do, but if you wanted something to butt up against this, that can have its advantages. Now, there's other advantages beyond this. So we're gonna hit the button, and once again, it becomes a step back here. So the good thing about it, a lot better than what the F-150s currently have, I'd say, nothing against Ford, but you don't have to go through all that process of pulling out the handle from the tailgate and having a step that's probably about 
35% this size, maybe less. It's a lot more, well, sure-footed, we'll say. A lot more steady back here because of the way everything is set up. If it was me, and that's probably, this probably isn't even necessary, but I think I would have the same handle on that side as well and have two of them instead of just one. Just my personal thoughts on the matter. This particular model does have the kicker audio system back here, really kind of making this truck the ultimate of tailgating. You can really bring the party in multiple ways. You can see everything here as far as controls go. And then depending on what you want to play music off of, well, there are your options as far as connectivity go. There are lights above right here, so that helps to see what you need to see when it's after dark. And for the price of this truck, it better come with a bed liner already installed. It does. You have 12 different tie-down points, and you have quite a bit of space throughout. And one more advantage of the multi-pro tailgate, you can drop this area down and it makes it easier to gain access to, unless you have really long arms, to your power outlet located right here. And no, I didn't forget to give you the numbers on towing and payload. 1,690 pounds on the payload and up to 8,900 pounds on towing. The interior of this truck is very impressive in multiple ways, not only because it is the largest in class, but there's just so much space here. Everything looking very nice from the white piping to the white stitching. And you even have kind of almost that baseball style stitching the cross stitch of sorts right here. And the nice large door bins and there are cup holders everywhere. Nobody is going to go thirsty in these trucks. I showed you the in seat storage earlier, but you also have the under seat storage as well as where you're gonna find the tools to change a spare tire, change to a spare tire if you need to. And I like the fact that you have the inserts on the floor mats here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed just to show you how this works. You have the rubber floor mats under there, so if you're going off-roading or wherever you are where everyone's shoes are going to be dirty, well, you can take the carpet out. That's going to help make a big difference. We'll reach up here and grab the grab handle to make it easier to get in here where there is so much space. I mean, it doesn't really matter where the driver's seat is. You're going to have plenty of room right here. More cup holders right here. You're going to have the heated outboard seat controls, air conditioning vents, as well as USB connectivity. Quite a bit here, like I said. So here's the thing. You have one, two. If you count the door bin cup holders, that's three, four. And then hold down the armrest right here. There's five and six. Oh my goodness. Nobody's going to go thirsty back here going to have the power sliding rear window back here as well as the rear window defroster and then if for some reason maybe you want to clean your rear window from the inside or whatever you need to do maybe put in a five-day tag like we're going to do later right here for our test drive well you can fold down the headrests as well and no i'm not saying that that's something specific to the denali trim there are people on YouTube who would actually comment in that respect. Respect. And if you're curious, yes, there is a sunroof. It's a conventional size sunroof. I'm always curious to poll people on this. Are you happy with this style of sunroof or would you rather see a panoramic? And by the way, a little bit of helpful information for you right here. Here is how you activate or deactivate the child safety locks on this truck. So when this button right here is in the up position, they're inactive. When they're in a down position, they're active. So if you're going to hop into the back seat of your brand new Denali Ultimate and check things out when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you just got a desire to do something like that all of a sudden, spur of the moment, make sure at least one of these doors is open. Unless you like the challenge and you're nimble enough to get through the pass-through right here, because that's what you'd have to do if both sides had the child safety locks activated and there was no one around to help you out. And taking a look in through the passenger side door, you're going to notice quite a few things we have here. The ultimate logo right here, and you've got all of the nice trim here as well as brushed aluminum. So a very nice look there. And another large door bin, except you have two cup holders right here or bottle holders, whatever you want. Snacks can go back here, all that good stuff. There's the ultimate logo again, the GMC logo. These are heated and power driver and passenger seats as well as having the massage function as well. So quite a bit going on there. A very nice interior. 
and a little bit of a, a nice look here with just the overall design, I would say. And you do have some space right here. I don't know, what would you put in there? Since nobody seems to read books much anymore, I don't know if that would work. Maybe a cell phone or two, something like that. There's a lot there. And speaking of storage space, yes, there is plenty of that here. I'm going to reach over here and close the door just to get rid of the exterior noise we have out there. Here is how you're going to open the upper glove box. As you can see, space in there, nice felt-lined interior. It's comfortable. And then we'll reach down here and look at the traditional glove box. There's never any gloves in these glove boxes. We ought to rename them something else. But that's what they are for now. And then we're going to have the cup holders here, storage space right here. And if you haven't seen one of these trucks for a while, you might say, well, wait a minute. Why is there no wireless charging pad in this truck? Well, there is. It's just right here. You're going to stick your phone right there to charge it. Kind of hidden away, but it is still there. A nice armrest doubling as the lid for the console. Or it is the is it the lid for the console doubling as an armrest? Well, one way or another, that's what it is. And quite a bit of space in there. You've got this nice large tray that you can use or not use. And then all of that space down there. More connectivity. Quite a bit of connectivity options throughout the interior. Now, I always like to, again, poll everybody watching the video. What are your thoughts on the new shifter that came out for 2022 in these trucks? Would you rather have a column shifter, or what are your thoughts in that respect? Even maybe the push button shifter like we see on the Yukons up here on the dashboard. Everyone has their opinions. I'm curious to know what yours is. And for the most part, we're gonna see the same things we saw on the passenger side, with the exception of all four controls for all four windows. You can control your power side view mirrors right here and obviously fold them in and out. You also have seat memory right here. I'd like to see GMC maybe put that on both doors here in the front. That would help a lot. And we kind of took a look at what we had here earlier, but you have your mode selector here, the controls for your lighting. There's the head-up display controls and the power adjustable steering wheel. Tilt and telescopically adjustable. That obviously makes a really big difference as far as comfort and convenience goes. And talk about cool. I like this at least. How about the instrument cluster graphics? We're going to let everything kind of come up and try and show you as best as we can from every or both angles at the same time. For those who were saying for a long time that these trucks had an antiquated interior, not really so much because of the graphics, but more so because of the updates to both screens here. And you'll also see, yes, we have Super Cruise right here. We're going to give you a good demo of that on the test drive here in just a little while. But as you can see, you've got your driver's instrument cluster. There, it's digital, it's easy to use. You can go through all sorts of information here. We'll see if we can get that to work for you real quick. It's kind of taking its time. There we go. We'll go through a few things right there. You can go through all of your different features and functionality here as far as what you can change, depending on what you want to do. Again, not going to cover every single little thing in great detail, but just so you can see what is here, you do have the digital speedometer, but still the analog look on the speedometer there on the left and the tachometer on the right. So kind of give you an idea of what's going on there. And you can see your fuel range right here, but you also have Google Assistant built into the infotainment screen that is completely voice activated and interactive and our steering wheel mounted controls right here, just so you can see what's going on. You obviously have the driver attention system here, or what monitors what's going on with the driver ultimately. When you're using Super Cruise, that's important. It's funny, if you look away for a long enough, I think it's 10 seconds, the truck will actually go out of Super Cruise and you'll get an indicator your seat will vibrate, which by the way, this seat does have the vibration for what's going on around the truck. So if somebody's on your left or your right or you're backing up towards something you're going to hit, it's going to vibrate in the appropriate place and let you know. And then obviously you're going to have adaptive cruise control here. You've got to have that lane keeping assist, all of that stuff, because all of that works in conjunction with Super Cruise. You've got your shifter paddles mounted here, and on the rear of the steering wheel, you can control the volume and the radio uh, station selection on both sides. So that is good. And the rear view camera mirror, okay? Obviously, it functions as both a conventional mirror, but the rear view camera, that has a lot of advantages for you. 
especially if you have somebody sitting in that middle seat in the back seat area, you can still see what's going on behind you. That does take a little bit of getting used to, but once you're used to it, no big deal at all. And just an overall nice look as far as what GMC did with redesigning these trucks for the 2022 model year. But I have to say, my favorite thing, you have all sorts of camera views all around the truck. So let's take a look at what we have. You've got the overhead 360 degree view that is live. So you can see everything that's around you. In fact, I'll put the truck into reverse and we'll just back up a little bit here so you can see what actually happens on the screen. Hopefully you can see the truck moving just like that. And then we have all of the other camera views here. There is no shortage. I showed you the front camera washer earlier. Oops, let's go back here. Oh, there we go. Yep, because we went back into park, it changed on me. But just so you can see there, you can see what you have. You have the side view mirror cameras that you can look through as well. And then you also have the view into the bed right there. If you have one of your kids you can't find, they may be sleeping in the bed or hiding in the bed. I don't know. It depends on the situation if they've been good or bad, right? It just depends. But I really like that. And this system is so easy to use. I don't know if Google Assistant will work right now, but let's give it a shot. Hey, Google. Tell me a joke. Just give Google a courtesy laugh, make her feel good about herself. Yes, it will actually make you laugh because some of those jokes are so corny. But here's everything else we have. Obviously, you've got trailering right here because I'm sure most of you are going to tow at some point or another with these trucks, although these are what I would call luxury trucks that are much more than just typical pickup trucks of years gone by. But they still have that kind of functionality for use as a pickup truck but also as just a really nice family hauler or whatever the situation is we can go in here into vehicle and show you what all you can change buckle to drive i know a lot of people like to turn that off so obviously you can if you want to that way if you're driving around in a parking lot or something like that well it just makes it a lot easier and you can kind of see you've got this little area right here almost kind of a shelf of sorts you can put your hand up there and just kind of use that to make it easier to do what you need to do. You've got teen driver mode here. We're going to go back out of that. Just, it's not hard to use. You just put the code in and then you determine what your teen can or cannot do with this truck. Let's turn the air down a little bit because it's getting a little warm in here. And one thing I do want to point out here, in the past, up until 2023, you lost the heated steering wheel because the button where the heated steering wheel would be turned on and off was right here. Well, now you still have the heated steering wheel. So when you turn your heated seats on, all that good stuff, the heated steering wheel still works. It's still here. So that's good to know. And overall, a very simplistic system to use. Even Google Maps here is interactive, voice-based. Uh, very simple to use, very nice. I'll tell you what, GMC definitely making some big strides forward over the last couple of years, but I'm curious to know, what would you like to see added and or changed in the future with these trucks? And by the way, you do have the 12-speaker Bose audio system here. What does it sound like? Well, let's use one of my videos so we don't get hit by a copyright strike to let you hear it. Okay, we won't go too long on that just so we don't get anybody upset and they click off the video. But just so you could hear what the sound system sounds like in this truck. Well, there you go. And I don't know if anybody made any changes to the base or anything like that. But I didn't when I got on the truck. That's what it sounded like. So those may be the default settings. And it definitely sounds really good. Go ahead and hit the button. And it's going to go ahead and go into Super Cruise. You can see the green across the steering wheel right here. And it's basically going to stay at a distance behind the vehicle in front of me. Now, I'm going to bump the speed up a little bit. And the truck turns on the blinker. It's a better driver than the truck, than the driver in the F-150 in front of us that has failed to use his blinker twice so far. And 
we're going to go ahead and get on down the road. Now I've got somebody coming around on my right because they probably think that they can get around me. Let's see if they're going to do it or not. This will be interesting to try and get in place here on video, but he's not going to make it because we're going to get around this truck up here. I'm going to speed up just a little bit to try and give him some room, but that's the thing about these wonderful drivers here in Shreveport, Louisiana. We're going to speed on up just a little bit. Notice that I'm pushing the button right here to do so to speed up some. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to drop the speed down a little bit. Overall, the truck is a lot of fun to drive. Let's see if I can get it to get over. There we go. I just pushed the blinker to let it go over on its own. If you do that, obviously that works. I didn't know that from previous driving experiences. This is only the second time that I've used Super Cruise before. But you get to see a little bit of the fun that we deal with in Shreveport, Louisiana with the bright-minded drivers that we have everywhere. And ultimately, that's how you use Super Cruise. And of course, these trucks are great to drive. They're very enjoyable, easy to get around in, easy to maneuver around. Uh, and if you have any trouble for whatever reason, well, obviously you have the multiple camera view angles to help in so many different ways. Plenty of space, plenty of room for driver and passengers. I mean, you just can't lose. For $87,879.95, we packaged everything out and looked at everything individually. I wonder what it is on this truck that costs 95 cents. Well, anyway, like I said, if you're a good negotiator, you can probably get rid of that 95 cents when you buy this truck. Speaking of that, I gotta say a special thanks to my friends here at Morgan Buick GMC for loaning me this truck for the day. And obviously a special thanks to all of you for being kind enough to give me the opportunity to give you a vision for your next truck. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn about other vehicles you may wish to consider purchasing, check out the video that's on the screen right now and I'll see you there.